always lived in traditional houses, you know, colonials, gambrels, that kind of a thing. And we decided that if we were gonna go through all this and do this energy efficient home, let's do something different. And we looked everywhere for land. Jerry and Corinne came to us for what I would call site consultation. We looked at some real estate online and some real estate in person. Until finally, we came across this one. The other thing they came to us for is looking for a company that would fit their goals and could build a net zero house. This is our time to make a difference to build a house that would not use any carbon at all. If your goal is a net zero home, you basically have to hit three fundamental aspects in the design and construction process. A super insulated thermal envelope, and then you need to really control air infiltration and exfiltration through that envelope, and then you also have to include in that package high-performing windows and doors. Once you have all those three components set, then you're working with basically the client's programmatic needs, what they want to do for the design. We had no idea when we first started what it was going to look like. They really wanted 90 degree, and that's what we did. And about the distance and the aperture that would be gained by looking up and down out of the windows in the house that approached that view. Even down to the final detail, the siding. Kind of near the end of the design, we walked into the office and Peter said, have you thought about stucco? Wow, that'd be amazing. <laughs> you need to make sure you're designing for a super insulated thermal envelope, and then you need to really control air infiltration and exfiltration through that envelope. The slab and or foundation in this home was insulated to about an R20, the walls above 40, and then the ceilings above 60. There's exterior foam, interior spray foam, interior cellulose. Through that, and through a lot of other infiltration details, we can achieve a lower door test super low. And after that, it's sort of icing on the cake in terms of getting to net zero. The mechanical systems are really just there to cover those space conditioning requirements that have been set so low. It's the most comfortable building I've ever been in in my life of any kind of building. There are no drafts. You can't tell that it's cold outside. It just feels the same all the time. I've never been in a building like that before in my life. We have mini splits. We don't even need to use all of them. And you really don't even notice the difference. What was important to the homeowners was having the capacity in their photovoltaic system to be able to charge their electric vehicles. We did a quadruple pane window, that's right, for having that technology and being able to put the glass everywhere that we want it and see the view was really a big plus for me. The roof that we ended up going with for this project is a low pitch standing seam metal roof that would essentially shed the snow away from the clients when they're using the building. This home, prior to renewables, came in at a HERS index of about 45. Post renewables, solar photovoltaics, came in at negative 24. Yeah, Eversource did a great job. They were really easy to work with, getting all of the infrastructure in. They were really helpful. This house utilized Eversource's energy efficiency programs, partnered with the New Hampshire Saves Energy Star Homes program to provide rebates and incentives for some someone looking to build a more energy efficient home. Do you love your house? Oh yeah. yeah uh, we, we love, love this uh, yes, house. We do. We do. <laughs>